The following is an excerpt from an exclusive interview with one of the few people who has met Miguel Trevino and lived to talk about it. Rosario Reta was only 13 when he first met the leader of the Zetas. From a prison in Texas, he spoke to our producers from the Center for Investigative Reporting. He was one of the first persons I've seen to cut somebody's head off. He took his head off just shooting him. Just by shooting him, he shot him, he shot him more than 100, more than two, 300 rounds. And he was telling everybody, this is the way you kill somebody. Rosalio Reta grew up in Laredo, Texas. He had family on both sides of the border. One night when he was 13 years old, he went across the river to Nuevo Laredo, intrigued by stories of the narco life. His curiosity led him into a world of violence and nightmares, a world controlled by Miguel Trevino. We drove to a little ranch in the outskirts of Nuevo Laredo, and that's the first place where I've seen people getting executed, people getting burnt alive. Trevino was in the middle of everything. He was the one in charge. He started like trying to intimidate me. And he asked me if I had ever killed somebody. And me not knowing what to do, what was going on around me, I just said yes. But I was, I don't even know why I answered that quite, why I said yes. And that was the first time that I, that I had to shoot somebody that very same night. He became close with Miguel Trevino. He became real close with the big boss. He trusted him. He gave um, Rosalio the big jobs. He was, he was proud of the work that he did. He basically took him underneath his wing and trained him to be just like him. Miguel Trevino, he was a monster. He was horrible. The stuff that he forced Rosalio to do, the stuff that he had to witness, should never have been forced on anybody. I seen, I seen one time Miguel Trevino was torturing somebody. It was two brothers. And he made one brother kill the other one. He told them, look, one of you, only one of y'all is gonna live. So you have to kill him or you kill him. So decide. I already knew that he was gonna kill the both of them. But he just wanted to not, not torture these people, not physically, but mentally. Mess him up in the head to where one of them had to kill one another. They had to decide who's going to die, who's going to get to go home. Rosalio Reta can't go home. He is serving 70 years in prison. As a teenage assassin for the Zetas, Reta says he killed 30 people. 